I have my first indie miniature company mail. It's heavy. Hi Trent, enclosed are some figs I sculpted for my evil gong range. Oh, you've made them 20 years ago. <laughs> These are proper old school cool. Look at <laughs> Wow. That is incredible. And I'm assuming they're lead. Yeah, they're lead. We have our second package from Tom. You legend. Bloody directions and everything. Love your work, mate. Oh, wow. Squagmire RPG by Thomas Sandberg. Well, that's you, isn't it? Tom has sent something very cool. Their own indie tabletop RPG. It's all print and play. Got some awesome design to it. And they've also sent two conversions for me to be inspired by for my new One Army project that I'm working on. These are very, very cool. And if more people want to send in their conversions, I think we should absolutely assemble an army of the people and do a bat rap. I know some people that would love to make that happen. This model is really giving me some like old school Games Workshop Realm of Chaos vibes, except now I have this beast head I have to do something with. And I'm thinking one of these mammoth miniature models. Maybe I could do like a Chaos Cults thing for Necromunda. <laughs> So I made this one and then this one sort of just happened. You know, it'd be really cool to do like an army of other people's miniatures, like make a people's army. You know what I'm saying? Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you could, oh great, now you're frozen. Fuck, this is not going good, Tina. Wait, why is it frozen? I'm just heading out for a bit, all right? Stay there. What do you think? It feels so different holding it. It's so much prettier. Spring, summer. Mm. That's quite nice. Mm. Hey, you slammed it. <laughs> Come on. Okay, yeah. We've been making little little guys for in the plant pots. No. Your real rosy cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you excited? Very. Where are we going? We're going to Ghent. We're going to meet some people. Wow. Do some cool stuff. Yeah. Lots of kangaroos. Yeah. Plenty of them. Everything is By the way, I'm in Belgium at the moment. Uh, it's a beautiful place. Beautiful food. Beautiful food. Sorry, but okay. it's kind of hard to watch. No, no, no. Oh, let, him, let him do his thing. That was good. It needs chicken stock. Beautiful, beautiful people. people. Beautiful beer. It's, it's been utter chaos, so I'm really sorry if this video is like <laughs> just all over the place because We've been all over the place We have been all over the place We've been hanging out at Nerd Lab, which is a cool makerspace And that was set up by our friend Aileen Met Ben from Warbound, who gave me a heap of indie miniatures for my indie wargaming miniature army. So I have three sculptors. I have a Lux Tento, which is a big French oh, yeah. sculptor, uh, Valentin Zach, and uh, Stefan Camosetti. Oh. So three very talented guys. Oh. oh, the packaging is sick. You do know I'm gonna hack these up, right? Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, well, you have the the master. Oh. Yes, of course. It's real talent, huh? <laughs> That's what it looks like. That's what good sculpting looks like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guns are making What do you want to say? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> oh man. That's annoying, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, hung out with Tun. Tun? 
Anton, maker of animatronics and um, escape rooms. Arian. My name is Arian. Um, I have a YouTube channel. It's called Atelier AG. Last year, I joined Monsterverse for the first time and I made this one. When I make something, I always need some kind of story. So this monster became kind of like a, the big bad guy from like a Dungeons and Dragons campaign that I'm working on. And uh, the following year, I, like, I kept making stuff related to it. And for this year's Monster Bash, I, I made like one of the generals of this uh, uh, big bad guy. And yeah, I really loved how Monster Bash has given me so much creative random input and it's it's amazing it's uh yeah it's been a big inspiration so this one is uh, a dice tower um and normally there's like a, a die that you can keep in here and the the idea is that i mean it's a dice tower it's not a functional dice tower but it, it's it does a, it, it does its job so the top it hinges open you can put your die inside and uh, it falls out of the mouth of the not Lloyd. <laughs> Tina, how are you feeling? Um, fine. Yeah, where were you today, Tina? In bed. You know, I had to find, I had to find Nerd Lab without you. Yeah, you walked through the city. Yeah, you and oh, your uh, footpaths are so confusing because you said not to walk on the red and then sometimes it crosses over and then there's little yellow feet and you're like well tina said not to walk on the red but it looks like i meant to walk on here i don't know what what the truth is or not anyway anyway i made it i looked both ways i'm making a little line of cut for um a last page yes last page of what tina of our book we had one last page to fill, so I did a little drawing. Wait, <laughs> we're <laughs> under there? <laughs> yeah, it's real, huh? Holy shit. Yeah. It's got a dust color. Mm hmm that's beautiful. What do you think, Tina? I think it looks really good. You spent some nights on these pages, huh? Mm hmm Oh, worth it. Done good, Tina. We done really good. Where are we going, Tina? We're going to Antwerp. Right now? Right now. And then where are we going? And then we are going to the UK. To hang out with more cool people. So if you know anyone good, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know, please. This feels illegal. So Tina made this sketch and I was really inspired. So Tina's sketch and this is what I've been sculpting. And this is a model that I've sort of sculpted to try to make it easy to mold and cast. But um, now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to cast it snoot very well. So have a look at this. This is my current, well, I couldn't take my ginormous bits box with me to Belgium. So um, this is currently my bits collection and everything in here is all indie miniatures. The majority of it though is from Ghostfire Gaming who were very kind to sponsor this video. Pretty. Yeah. Good model. There's a lot to run there. Yeah. There's mutations. Ooh, oh, madness. Yeah. All their bits are unreal. Like grimdark, uh, spooky. I'm thinking of doing a bit of an undead thing at the moment. Oh. I 
think it's time for a tour, yeah? Okay, we've got little baggies with important things in it. Stickers and handy tools. And then we have little wand holsters. Ghost fire book. Wait. I should tell people how I met Ghostfire. So a little while ago, I went to PAX Australia. I ran into the Ghostfire team and we got talking, we had some bevies. And I was like, hey, can you please send me on a trip across Europe? And they were like, uh, yeah, sure. Here's some money, let's go do that. And that's why I'm here. So please thank the wonderful people at Ghostfire Gaming for making this trip happen. Cause we have so much in store and they were really, really cool about it. And they're Aussie and indie. That was dangerous, <laughs> huh? Prepare for anything, including, uh... Gem emergencies? Yeah, like if we encounter a goblin. <laughs> Heavy tools. Glue, millipod, sculpey, and of course, so handy card. <laughs> Face bag? Yeah, so I can make an entire army. I put rope and twine in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Some stickers in here that I made so we can give it to people. If people could please invite us uh, to the d, d games, please, because we want to play. Please. Please. <laughs> We've got dice. <laughs> we have a lot of dice. <laughs>